the Parsha introduces us to Koirach with the words Vayikach Koirach and Koirach took. What did he take? The verse doesn't say. What we do know though is that the word taking has a negative connotation. And maybe then in these words we're going to see the key to Koirach's destruction and ultimate defeat. Rashi tells us when it says Koirach took, it means he took himself aside. He considered himself special, worthy of recognition, of admiration, of distinction. So he took himself aside. In truth, Koirach was a great person, a great man, he was great in knowledge, in influence, and very, very wealthy. However, the greatness that he had was a gift that he'd received from heaven. And as we know, we have to just we have to regard the gifts we receive with gratitude, a sense of privilege, and humility. This is illustrated to us by the greatest leader of all, Moshe Rabbeinu, who was also given great, great gifts from the heavens, and at the same time was the most humble of men. Koryach did not take this approach, and thereby he destroyed himself and hundreds and hundreds of people who followed his lead. We can use this lesson, however, in our own lives to feel where we to feel that the gifts we have is a privilege to feel grateful and to follow Moshe Rabbeinu's example to every type of success and accomplishment and happiness for ourselves.